Alrighty. So, like you guys know, this unit we're going to be talking about word problems. The most important part of word problems are the words. So, you guys did a little bit of a sort on the previous slide that does not have all of the words that mean the different operations. You guys probably know most of them, but there's a few that have been tricking up a few of my classes. So on this paper, I'm going to write down the ones that have been the trickiest with my kids. If there's any extra words that you would like to add, you are free to, but I don't think you need to write all of them. You probably know a lot of them. So some of the words that have been tricking up students for addition are and, deposit, Deposit is especially seen with money. So like every two weeks when I get paid, my money gets deposited into my bank account. Money is added into my bank account. Ascend. It looks like when your teachers have you put things in ascending order. Ascending means you're going up, you're adding. And the other one is perimeter. You guys talked about perimeter in sixth grade. Perimeter is like if I have a rectangle, I want to know the distance all the way around it. I would add all of my sides together for my perimeter. And the last one, I'm going to put a star by. It's average or the mean. You guys learned that last year. Again, that's where you add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are to get a kind of a middle number for it. Go ahead, pause the video if you need to to finish writing those down. Otherwise, I'm going to move over into subtraction words. Again, these are not all of the words. I'm just going to have you guys write down the ones that have been tricking kids up the most. Remain. Remain is like how much is left. Not remainder. Remainder is for division, but just remain is like I have 10 pieces of candy. I eat seven. How many remain? The word withdraw is the opposite of deposit, also with money. It's like I go to an ATM and I withdraw money. I take money out of my account. I subtract money from my account. The word difference, descend, and how many more? Again, there's more than just that for subtraction, but those have just been the ones that have been given my uh, trouble. Pause the video if you need to. Otherwise, I'm moving on to multiplication. The word by. You're going to see that a lot, like architects and engineers, when they're trying to look at um, the area of stuff or the dimensions of stuff or like the volume of things. Like if I have this piece of paper, I could say that this piece of paper is five and a half by eight and a half inches, and I could find the area because by means to multiply those numbers together. Again, just like I gave that example, area also means multiplication. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. I multiply my factors to get my product, the answer. And the word of, of is tricky because not every single of is important. Not every single of matters. Um, so you really have to think about the context of the problem. If it says Miss La Rosa has a basket of three apples and she picks eight more, how many does she have? That basket of apples does not tell me to multiply. You really have to be careful with that word. Um, next, division words, I would also put an average here, because like I said, we add them all up and then divide by how many there are. So two operations are happening with an average, but the word quotient, the answer to a, a division problem, if I split something evenly, if I cut something to pieces, if I do half of something, it means I'm dividing by what number? Two. Half means we divide by two. And now, though, we have 
uh, three special words. These three special words could mean multiplying or dividing depending on the situation. Again, you've got to read to see what they're asking you for. So the word per could mean multiplying or dividing. Not per like a cat. That's P-U-R-R. -R. P E R is per. So I could say like it costs five dollars per person to get into um, the pool. If we have ten people, how much would it cost? Or we could say it costs five dollars per person to get into the pool. We have two hundred dollars. How many people could we invite? So it just you have to depend. You have to see which one is it multiplication or division. Same thing with each. Same thing with every. All of those words could be multiplying or dividing. You just really have to read and see which one makes sense for your problem. Go ahead, pause the video, finish writing those things down, add any if there's any other words you want. Again, these are not all of them. There are posters in my room that are going to help you. Um, once you've got all that written down, go ahead and go on to the next slide.